Welcome to the Wonder Learn podcast. I'm your host, Francis Tapon. I'm here with a special guest. Her name is Blue. Um, she's a Chihuahua mix. So those of you who are watching this on YouTube can get an extra bit of entertainment. Uh, she's only about three months old. I want to talk to you about alumni magazines that you might be getting from your high school. I get them from my high school, my college, and my graduate school. What to do with these alumni magazines? What most people do is that they find out what their classmates are doing and that kind of stuff. And I want you to go a little bit deeper than that. I want you to look at the obituary section. You may wonder, obituary section? That's very morbid of you. No, it's even worse than that. I like to look at the youngest people who've died. And ever since I was in high school, people in high school were dying. People who were younger than me in high school. One guy, and I remember when I was 18 years old, he was 16 years old, and he died of leukemia. And I remember a, a guy from business school, he died of brain cancer. Uh, at the age of 35, after we graduated. Um, there's been several deaths, and again, from college, high school, everything, car accidents, this recently, this guy who graduated, he was the student body president, much younger than me. He was about uh, 15 years younger than me. He just died uh, this year. He was hit by a car and he was biking. He was student body president. He was an amazing guy who was a medical school student, etc. Now, why should you engage in this total morbid practice of looking at all the dead people? because you want to remind yourself how lucky you are to be alive and to be blessed with the life that you have. It's very fleeting. That's one thing I think dogs are really good at. They're just enjoying life for the moment and enjoy, and they have no idea how long they've got. Maybe they don't realize that they're mortal. We have this tendency, I think, once we're past the age of 20 or so, to just assume, in fact, sometimes much earlier, just to assume that we have the average 70s, 80 year life expectancy. And so we kind of plan our lives accordingly. Okay, I'm going to spend my 30s doing this, my 40s doing that, 50s doing that, da 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 da. Well, guess what? It may not last that long. You might get pulled away at the age of 40 or 30. I like to remind myself by looking at these obituaries of these people who are much younger than me and realize, oh my God, I really don't have that much time left, potentially. Now, there's a wise saying that says, well, you should live at this day as if it is your last. I don't think that that's a good idea because if today was my last day, I wouldn't be doing this podcast right now. And I also don't think it's a good idea to live this day as if it's the last week of your life or the last year of your life. Because again, if this were my last year of my life, huh, I definitely would not want to be doing a lot of things that I'm doing right now. But at the same time, you don't want to give yourself 10 years because that's you're starting to assume that you're going to have quite a bit of a long, long, long life with you. So I think the best thing to do is to, to assume something like three to five years, because that's good enough time that you've got enough time to plan and, and, and do something for the future and leave some sort of legacy and live a life that's meaningful. But at the same time, you're not in desperation mode where you're counting the hours. So that's my advice. Don't live your life for the day. Live your life as if you're going to have five years left to live. And with that, that's good enough to have some amount of long-term thinking, but not super long-term thinking because everything can get taken away very fast. And once you live that way, you're gonna probably live a far more meaningful life. You're going to get rid of friendships that are sapping your energy, that are not raising you up. You're going to not do unfulfilling jobs. You're not going to perhaps, perhaps watch as much television. You're probably going to do activities that are more meaningful. You're going to maybe obsess less about social media and maybe spend more time about uh, hanging out with real people. These are the basic human desires that we have. When you get your alumni magazines, pick up and look at the obituary section and perhaps use that as a motivating thing for you. If your purpose in life is to have children and to raise some great children, focus on your children now while you have to focus less on your job. Whatever is your passion, if you always want to write a book or, or do anything, do that now because this is it. And it may, you may not have a whole lot of time left. So this is your best way, I think, to remind yourself to live a life with meaning. And with that, enjoy your alumni magazines. This is Francis Tapon encouraging you to wander and learn. All right, Blue. Say goodbye to Blue. Bye, Blue.